Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to a slightly new look video. I am in my place here in England and I'm starting the video off a little bit differently. I hope that's okay. I thought I wanted to experiment with the format of the video because we are in between eclipses and I think in between eclipses is a very good time to be experimental. Why not? I don't know how I'm going to introduce the nighttime videos. I might still have the candle at the start. I might not. I don't know. But how are you all doing? We are in between eclipses. I hope you're all doing okay. I am back doing videos back in the time zone. It has taken me a little while to adjust. I was a bit sick again actually for the first few days back because I think whatever I had in Sydney I didn't recover from it fully the first time but now I'm all good and I'm starting sessions tomorrow so sessions are starting again I'm fully booked fully booked next week I think the week after I'm fully booked as well but there are lots of spaces in the system so you're very welcome to book your spot and what we're going to do today is we're going to do another astrological exploration from the statistics the like statistics i can see that you guys love this format where i have the ipad and i've got you know the methodology here and you know i scribble and i write things down so i think you guys are loving this format i'm absolutely loving doing it so we'll keep going with this it's a bit of a synthesis of the stars where you know I'll give myself a challenge and the first challenge I gave myself was how do you escape I wanted to see could we look at that through a chart we certainly can I'll put a link above in case you missed it uh, the second one in the series was how do you like to learn that one went really long actually uh, that that was a joy for me to do today we're going to take a look at your confidence we're going to look at are you confident or where are you confident you know or what is the area where you do feel confident or where it's easy for you to feel confident we're going to take a look at that and i'm going to use the word confidence and courage or you know being courageous i'm going to use those words interchangeably now methodology i've actually this is the second time i'm recording this introduction because i i went through all the third lord positions i've got them marked here but i think in reality it's going to take too long for me to explain this diagram so i'm just going to skip it what i will say is that i am looking for a way to teach this subject from scratch and I do it's on my website I've got a how to read Vedic astrology from scratch PDF I do have that what I will say is hold off on buying that for now because I am working on something new that will help you know absolute beginners learn Vedic astrology I'll, I'll teach this subject properly uh, I am going to do that now um, it's been a long time coming I've had a lot of requests for that over the last many years and every time I've been asked I always say no I don't want to do it and but now it's come to this place where I'm going to do it and I'm excited to do it you know I feel ready and I feel um, yeah I think it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun so I will let you know when uh, those classes are going to be available and I will teach you from absolute beginning it's going to be exciting okay so let's have a look at our methodology here for courage and confidence where do I see that now when I do a reading for one of you guys I will and I'll show you let's see I'll bring it up here so houses six We'll start that again six eight and twelve okay the dishtana houses before i read these for you guys i will always have a good look at your third lord third lord and the reason and maybe your third house as well and house i'll just put in house 
So I will talk about the third lord and the third house before I get into any of the Dishtanas. Some people classify the third lord uh, and or house as a bit of a Dishtana, sort of a spot in the, in the chart system. Some people count it as one. How I read it is that if you've got a great third lord or a great third house, or you've got a lot of courage and confidence, you will tackle your karmic challenges with ease. Okay, so that is definitely one of the things I do in a reading for you guys. But when I was contemplating this whole thing, and I was going to go through, did I mention I was going to go through the Third Lord positions, but it's just going to make this video far too long. When I did study the Third Lord positions in a lot of depth, I found that I gave a rating of three stars out of three for the Third Lord being in these three parts of the chart. And that is the fire trine, okay, the first, fifth and ninth houses. These are the fiery parts of the chart, the fire trine, right? This is where we feel um, really very, very confident. Our confidence comes from these places. So that's one, five and nine. Okay, so that's what we're going to take a look at today. We're going to take a look at your third Lord and we're going to have a look at your fire trine per sign. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, enough of me waffling on. Let's get straight in. Aries. Welcome Aries. We're going to take a look at you and we're going to take a look at your confidence. Where is your confidence here in the chart? Okay. This is very interesting because when I went through the entire astrological exploration and I put my notes together, what I discovered through doing this entire activity is that Aries, you guys just are confidence and courage. That's what you're all about. Uh, so the methodology, now we will take a look at Third Lord um, here for you, which is Mercury. We will take a look. We will have a look as well at these three. Of course, we're going to look at, at all of this. Don't you worry, but I'm going to give you the full treatment. But you're going to get a little bit extra because what I discovered is that Aries basically equals confidence. If you've got a strong Aries and if you have a very strong First Lord as well, Okay, First Lord is really important. So if your Mars is particularly well seated, okay, so your Mars could be here uh, in the first house. And I'm going to give you an example of that. Your Mars could be, imagine if your Mars is here. Wow, in the 10th house. Okay, you will be an absolute powerhouse uh, of a career person. But not only that, you know who you are when you've got a strong Mars. You know who you are. You know what you're all about. Nobody can manipulate you. Nobody can tell you what to do. You embody confidence. You are confidence. And it's really interesting because when I go through the entire zodiac here, I'm really going to be looking at and talking about where is Aries for all the other signs. Okay, but you are Aries. So for you, this is, this is all about you. So as I say, we do want to look at your first Lord. And we do want to look, for example, at your fire trine. So we could be having a look at your first house, as I say, your fifth house, your ninth house. We could be looking at where is your sun seated as well. We could be looking at where is your Jupiter. Okay, so we could be looking at where those are. We would, of course, also be looking at Mercury. That's going to indicate how strong your mind is and how confident your mind is as well. So 
Yeah, but I think when we're looking at um, confidence, Aries, I, I just want to say that you guys, when it comes to confidence, this is your thing. You're good at being confident. You're good. You should be able to find your confidence quickly again. You should be able to regain your confidence quickly again. And the way to do it will be tapping into your sense of self tapping into your sense of who am I and that thing of the greatest advice here is be yourself and I'll give you your uh, of all the signs I'm going to give a, a quick example of who embodies this really well and that is what well, she's now called Queen Mary Donaldson I was going to say Princess Mary I think she's probably Princess Mary on the system I'll bring her up on the screen but um you'll see that she's got Mars in Aries in her first house. And when I've watched documentaries about her and when I've studied her because she's a great astrological case study, one of the things I've found throughout all the different documentaries, she herself is always giving other people the advice, be yourself. She tells her children, be yourself. She tells her husband, make sure you be yourself. Yeah, that's that's always her biggest advice. It's it's like a broken record when she's working with people in her charities and she's helping people and she she even coaches people and does stuff like that. She's amazing. She's always giving the advice, be yourself. And Aries, that is you. When it comes to confidence, if you've ever lost your confidence, you can quickly regain it by tapping into who you are as a being and why it is that you're unique from everyone else and what it is that you've come to give. If you do that, you will boost your confidence, top up your confidence, regain it. It will be amazing. All right, Aries, well, thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to welcome Taurus. Taurus, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So now we're going to take a look at the topic of confidence for you and we're going to see where does your confidence come from and this is really very interesting okay so Taurus I'm going to say that for you guys it does depend on the placement of your moon okay so because your third lord is the moon so where your moon is placed in your chart setup is going to be really very important. For example, if you've got moon in the first house, that's a really good, strong, beautiful, exalted moon. And I would imagine that you would be very confident in yourself with that kind of a moon. But it's a soft confidence. It's a gentle confidence. It's not a big, uh, showy sort of a, a confidence like Aries might have okay we've just stepped out of Aries now Aries can have a lot of bravado a lot of courage a lot of I'm here kind of presence whereas Taurus for you I'd say you know even if your moon is utterly superb um, and say for example I mean your moon could even be here in the third as well that'd be quite beautiful too uh, there's lots of different places where your moon could be, but what I would say about the quality of your confidence is that it's a gentler variety of confidence. It is not like a Donald Trump type confidence, okay? It's, it's a soft, um, quiet confidence. I've got here, yeah, Taurus's confidence is hidden. It's a quiet confidence. Now, the other reason that I say that is because if we take a look at your fire trine, where is your fire trine located? So we're looking at these houses here. We're looking at your 12th, your 4th and your 8th. All right. And what I'd say here is that your confidence comes from knowing Okay, knowing um, hidden things or hidden things, I'll say. I'll also say um, 
something about you having the inside track on behind the scenes type things or when you have extra knowledge you wouldn't be showy about it I could imagine that people would be surprised to know the things that you know that is something uh, that I'm sure people would be when when they delve into you and they get to know you they'll be like oh wow you know about that you know there would be that kind of thing the other thing I've got here is that your confidence will like when does it shine when does it really come out I would say that your confidence comes out uh, comes out when relaxed when you're relaxed and you're really in your element but mainly when you're relaxed that is when your confidence goes up a lot so if you've ever lost your confidence or you're looking to regain it or you're looking to give it a boost I would say make sure you relax that could be as simple as procrastinating uh, right through to taking a holiday <laughs> okay so these are some of the things that you will want to bear in mind thanks so much for stopping by Taurus and we are now going to welcome Gemini Gemini welcome thank you so much for stopping by so we're going to take a look at the quality of your confidence so for you Gemini it's really going to depend on depends on your Sun so where is your Sun placed for example now if you have a very strong Sun let's say your Sun is exalted here in Aries uh, you would be you would be very confident with that placement there um, for sure but let's take a look at this how else does your confidence well that is really interesting because that is part of the fire trine here so when we take a look at your fire trine which is houses 3 11 and 7 so we're taking a look at your fire trine where that is you guys have a, actually a very easy way to boost your confidence and that is simply to communicate that's all you have to do you just have to communicate be expressive if you have ideas and you share them with the world for you regaining your confidence or boosting that up or um, you know give, giving yourself a boost you can easily do that just by communicating just by putting things up on social media it's as simple as that for you guys but there's also things like you know maintaining a public having a public writing books writing definitely and for that I mean that would be yes yeah, Sun and Mercury here that's your first Lord communication is is really key for your sign and definitely having opinions having your own unique opinions and sharing them that will be key and we all know that on social media that can be really hard to do um, I know just by doing this very simple channel just about astrology I am like the most harmless person out there I think I am anyway but see someone will have a comment about that <laughs> so that's the thing we're always on social media we're always qualifying everything all the time but it's hard it's not easy it's not easy to to share your unique opinion on the internet but uh, Gemini that's actually a remedy for you that that will actually do wonders for your confidence so yeah I'm wishing you well Gemini thank you so much for stopping by and we are now going to welcome Cancer Cancer welcome thank you so much for joining so we're going to take a look at your confidence levels how do we know if your confidence is good well we would want to see the position of your Mercury okay that's your third Lord there and if your Mercury is seated particularly well 
you know, your Mercury could be, oh, your Mercury could be, let's say, for example, in Gemini. That would be interesting, actually. That would be, well, I haven't given that too much thought, but you'd be a beautiful fiction writer with Mercury up there in the 12th, or you'd write great movies, or I don't know, there'd be something, if we're looking at writing, it'd be fantastic if you have your moon in there as well. But anyway, let's not go down those tangents. Let's come back to the topic at hand. I wanna take a look at your fire trine. So that is here, here, and here. So houses two, six, and 10. So one of the things I thought about here is that through having a career and saving money, you will attain confidence. Isn't that interesting? I do think that your confidence is quite tied into career and business and money in particular, saving money, having money. That's actually going to be really important for you. This was one of the ones that surprised me. I like doing these astrological explorations because a lot of things like this, they come up and they surprise me. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have thought that. Because cancer is usually, like I would think that for cancer, the uh, confidence might come through your art or something like that. But I think it's actually got more to do with real world stuff, interestingly, and especially, uh, especially having a career. Now I've got here having a career, having a career where your unique opinion is expressed. As I've done this astrological exploration through all the different signs, what I've come to discover is that where Aries is, that is actually the most important thing when it comes to confidence. So for you, that is here in the 10th house, um, 10th house of career. So for you guys, having a career is important, uh, definitely when it comes to your confidence and it's got to be it's got to be a workplace where you can be yourself okay and if mars i mean depending on where your mars sits you're definitely suited to running your own business having your own show creating your own thing definitely uh, that would be a good thing for you cancer but as always you can let me know in the comments below uh, where you get your confidence from. I would love to hear from you. And we're now going to take a look at Leo. Leo, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So, Leo, confidence. Well, now you're Leo. Look at that. Your fire trine is right here. Very similar to Aries. Uh, you know, your fire trine is in the fire trine sort of a place. So you are naturally confident. And of course you are, you're Leo. You know, everyone, everyone talks about Leo the lion, Leo the king of the jungle, all that kind of thing. If we have a look at your third lord. Okay, third lord is Venus. So where Venus is for you, that is going to be really important. For example, if you've got a really good Venus, let's say, for example, your Venus is, let's say your Venus is here in the 10th house. That's a really good Venus right there, Venus in Taurus. That's really beautiful. So your career is going to be quite important to you and a, your career will be a source of confidence for you. Let's say your Venus, though, is exalted here in the 8th. That's really interesting because that's got that's got a very different sort of a feel and a flavor because that's Venus in the eighth house and that is 
um, you get your power from unseen hidden things and that could be what you know you know maybe maybe you've gone down all the rabbit holes and you know all the hidden stuff and maybe you get your power and your confidence from knowing things that other people don't know but if we take a look at just the fire trine here and we see okay so we'll just focus on houses one five and nine um, one of the things i discovered here when I was contemplating this is that you'll get a lot of confidence this one's quite interesting through being a parent isn't that interesting and that that's the kind of thing I would have thought might apply more to cancer because cancer the moon the mother you know I would have thought cancerians would be more the ones to um, you know have themselves come out a lot through uh, being a parent but it's actually Leo here because we've got Aries here in the ninth and this will be particularly so for men I do think when you become a dad Leo uh, that is when your confidence would just be sky high your confidence would just be amazing when you're a dad you know that that is definitely one of the things i was thinking about there but let's say you don't become a parent um, you will get that sensation leo when you are looking after a team of people maybe you're managing a group of people maybe you're running something or but th there's something where you are the authority if you're in a position where you are the authority your confidence is going to absolutely shine all right well thank you so much for joining we are now going to welcome virgo virgo welcome thank you so much for joining so now virgo let's take a look at your confidence and where does your confidence come from so for you when we're looking at the third lord we are looking at mars okay so now depending on where your mars is placed uh this will be quite interesting when it comes to confidence so let's say for example your mars is i'm going to put it here exalted in the fifth house there that's a beautiful mars and you will gain a lot of confidence through your creativity through your career through your hands-on effort because we've got uh, Mars three places away okay so that that would be really interesting there I wish I could go through Mars in every single house but I we, we just don't have that kind of time um, but let's take a look at your fire trine where does your fire trine live okay so we've got here your fire trine is here oh whoops i've been doing that for every sign here here and here so that's 12th fourth and eighth houses all right let's take a look at this yeah virgo you're quite a little bit like taurus because your confidence isn't showy even if you know everything you wouldn't talk about it you wouldn't say I could imagine that you'd be really quiet about what you know and I've got here your confidence will enhance based on what you know but how so this is quite interesting it's the the knowledge that you pick up through personal experiences the knowledge you gain through experience and this is transformational type experiences so if you've healed something if you've transformed something if you took something in one state and put it into another state it's 
making lots of those journeys that is going to build up your confidence in life. That's going to be really, really important. And that's going to give you a lot of, it's going to boost your leadership in the world as well, a lot. So experience counts. The knowledge you gain through experience counts a lot. And all of this is tied into your leadership capabilities as well, Virgo. All right, we are now going to welcome Libra. Libra, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So now, Libra, we're going to take a look at your confidence. And for you, this depends on your third lord, which is Jupiter. And we're going to take a look at where your Jupiter could be placed, for example. Uh, so I'm going to put your Jupiter. Let me think. Oh, well, if you've got a really fantastic Jupiter. That, well, that does look a bit like the number four there. Sorry, I was just getting quite confused. <laughs> um, but that is the symbol for Jupiter. I'm going to put your, I'm going to exalt your Jupiter and put it in the 10th house. My goodness, Libra, you would be very confident in your knowledge and what you know. You'd be a professor. You'd know everything. <laughs> if you've got your Jupiter there in the 10th, you would know absolutely everything. And no matter what you do, people will turn to you for your wisdom, for your knowledge. So it does depend on the placement of your Jupiter and where your Jupiter sits. But we're going to take a look at the fire trine and we're just going to see where that is. Oh, well, that's beautiful. That's right here. So this one's quite interesting. I've got here, you'll pick up a lot of confidence through running your own business. Or you could be a consultant, you could be an expert. For example, if you've got your Jupiter here in the 10th, yeah, you would, you'd be a superb consultant, expert, very knowledgeable person. You know, you could be hired project by project. That would be really good. But I see that you could pick up a lot of confidence by trading or exchanging ideas with other people, especially people overseas as well. Uh, foreign trade travel will massively boost your confidence as well travel to boost confidence and they actually say that um, if you want to boost your confidence travel alone go places on your own and they'll say things like, I remember this in my early 20s and this was when I first started traveling and I, I had this advice they said oh if you want to boost your confidence um, go places alone go places by yourself and I remember doing that uh, I went to where was it Cannes in France do you pronounce it Cannes? 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 I don't even know and I went there and they had an ad festival. So I went there and I remember though at nighttime I'd go to all the restaurants and just eat by myself and I would have my book, you know, and um, that was a really fun thing. So definitely traveling alone is the kind of thing that could um, boost your confidence if you needed a boost. But I think just by also communication for you guys as well. Um, just by communicating with the world, communication, um, communicating with the world, that will be an easy way to boost your confidence as well. Running a social media platform, any of that would be really good, Libra. All right, we are now going to welcome Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I'm just checking the time. We're all good. Okay, let's take a look at confidence. How do you boost your confidence or where do we see confidence in the chart for you? Well, Scorpio, I'm going to say that we can see this by looking at your third lord, the state of your third lord, which is Saturn. Okay, so if you've got 
we'll take two cases here. If you've got Saturn here in Aquarius, okay, that's a good strong um, Saturn, and and that's a very 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 stable fixed sort of a Saturn, Saturn in Aquarius there in the fourth house. You'd gain a lot of stability, uh, a lot of confidence. You'd gain a lot of confidence from the stability in your life. If say, for example, Saturn is placed in your fourth house. Um, let's say, for example, your Saturn is here in Leo, which is not the best placement, but it is a career sort of a a Saturn there. Now it's not the best placement but if your Saturn's in the 10th house you would gain a lot of confidence from your career, from the stability within your career. Okay there is a thing about stability here Scorpio. I think depending on where your Saturn is seated you would gain confidence when things are stable in your life, I would imagine that that would feel good to you. And if we take a look at your fire trine, we're looking at these houses here. And what I would say here is that through a creative career or through leadership, you will pick up confidence, okay? So that could be leadership there. So that depends on where your sun is seated, of course. But for you as well, there's another area of drawing, uh, picking up confidence, and that comes from drawing boundaries with other people. When you draw boundaries, your confidence will go up. Okay, that's going to be really, really important. You, and you'll also want to see where is Mars seated for that purpose. For example, if your Mars is in the first house, oh my goodness, that's going to be very important that you draw boundaries with, um, with other people. That's your sixth Lord there in the first house. That will also enable you to compete effectively as well uh, and when you have boundaries I think for you confidence would come from sometimes it'll come from knowing who you are but I think sometimes it will really come from knowing who you are not and that's where the boundaries are needed because yeah I think for you that that's going to be really important Drawing boundaries with other people will help boost your confidence, Scorpio. All right, well, we are now going to welcome Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So we're going to take a look at your confidence and we're going to have a look at the third Lord here, which is Saturn. Just checking on the time. We're all good. All right, so where your Saturn is seated... Uh, is quite important. Now, if it's really well seated, let's say, well, let's say, for example, we'll, ha we'll exalt Saturn and we'll put it here in the 11th. I was just, no, but that's something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to go down a tangent. I can't go down. Now, let's say, okay, let's get back to Saturn. Your Saturn is exalted here in the 11th house. Third Lord is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places away. So if your Saturn is seated in the 11th house, I would say that you would gain a lot of confidence through communication communicating uh, and slowly building networks uh, 
as well. It's really interesting because this is Saturn as your third Lord. Confidence could be a slow, a thing that grows slowly. over time and I think for you you would gain a lot of confidence I think as well I think a Sagittarius has a slow burn journey I don't know of too many Sagittarius people who are overnight successes I don't think that is a thing here now that I'm looking at this I think Sagittarians are the ones because of because as well of Jupiter but let's take a look at your fire trine I've got here, you pick up a lot of confidence through pure creativity or through what you learn. And I do think that for you guys, knowledge is power. Knowledge is your superpower. And I've got here, eventually you become a leader or authority in your field, but it would take time. Okay, because Saturn, let's just say, I know Saturn's not seated here, but let's just say Saturn is seated here. Saturn's casting third aspect uh, onto your Aries. I think you'll get a lot of, so things, your, your career and livelihood will take time. Um, but career-wise, you must be doing something creative. And we could say, I mean, intellectually creative. That's going to be really important for you. Now, let's say if your career is not intellectually creative, it doesn't matter. You must have some kind of hobby on the side or something that you do that is intellectually creative. That's, that's going to be really important for you, Sagittarius. Well, thank you so much. You can let me know in the comments below what, you know, where you feel confident and, and where um, the confidence comes from. It, yeah, you're very welcome to let me know in the comments below. We are now gonna welcome Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome, thank you so much for joining. So now Capricorn, we're gonna take a look at your third Lord to see the state of your confidence. Third Lord is Jupiter. So this is quite interesting. Um, let me find an example here. Yeah, well, um, let's, so let's take a look at your Jupiter. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. I'm just looking at two or three things at the same time. Cause I just had the idea of let's put Jupiter here let's exalt it in the seventh house and I mean so a lot of your confidence for example could come from your career from um, sort of internationally as well could come from your public okay but that's just for example if your Jupiter was in the in the seventh house there let's take a look at your fire trine i want to see what's going on in here this will give me more clues and yes it certainly does i've got here a lot of your confidence comes from your family isn't that interesting or from mother but what's even more interesting is that this is Mars here, okay? And so it could be 
actually that with Mars, you know, lording this house here, it could be that you, that's where you want the confidence to come from your family or from your mother. But it might be that you never got your confidence from either of those places. You might have always kind of longed for that. Let's, let's say, for example, you had, uh, and I'm going to put, so I'm going to put Mars here. Maybe you had like an argumentative relationship with mother. But you, this is the kind of thing where you always wished that you had a great relationship with mother. There's some, it, depending on where your Mars is seated, it's like there's some kind of um, instability here. And so what I've got here is that I think where you do eventually find the confidence in life is in the, now I've got written here, the stability of spiritual truths that underpins all things. I'm going to put that here. Stability of spiritual truths that underpins all things. And I'll also put here as well, um, studying unseen or hidden things brings confidence. Studying um, unseen or hidden things. Whoops. My handwriting is terrible in this one. I'm so sorry. Hidden things. So this is where Capricorn reaches for deeper things, deeper things, more abstract things, bigger things. So this here where you would have loved to have had the confidence come from here. I mean that in later life could be Mother Earth. Maybe you develop a relationship with Mother Earth and you get a tremendous amount of confidence from knowing that she is a being that loves us all, which I fully believe. I've developed that consciousness more and more over time which I didn't have, for example, when I was a kid, you know, and that's the thing, we're here with Capricorn. I mean, there's a maturing here. It's kind of like Capricorn likely comes into their own more and more later in life. You know, um, we're, we're in the big energies here, you know, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius. These are, you know, uh, signs and things that mature and um, yeah. Well, you can let me know, Capricorn, in the comments below where you do get your confidence from. I would love to hear from you. These are just my theories and my thoughts, my astrological ramblings. So, you know, uh, you can let me know where, where you really get your confidence from. It could be something simple. Let's have a look here. I mean, it could be, oh, it could be just from you procrastinating a bit. You've got, uh, <laughs> you've got, you got Pisces there. I mean, procrastination. Um, you taking a bit of time off could be a, a place where you get confidence from as well. Could be something simple. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to welcome Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So now we're going to take a look at confidence for you. And we're going to have a look at Mars. So that's your third Lord there. Mars. All right, so depending on where your Mars sits, well, here's an easy one. I mean, you put your Mars there in the in the 10th house and you're going to get a lot of uh, confidence from your career. You know, making progress in your career is going to boost your confidence a lot and that's going to be important for you. But if we have a look at your fire trine, we'll see that your confidence really does come from social things i sort of want to say um peers or siblings i 
I imagine, and, the, and your Aquarius as well, and I have said this on the channel before, and somebody totally disagreed, uh, but I said something about Aquarius. Aquarius really, one of the objectives of Aquarius is that they do want to fit in. And if you're an Aquarius that, um, if I say that and that really irks you and you're like, no, I don't want to fit in. Because like there is that thing of Aquarius that it's the rebel. I know. I know Aquarius is very much the rebel as well. But if you, if you self-reflect very honestly, Aquarius, you will see that perhaps quite a lot of your early years maybe, maybe this is just for the early years, that's possible. Um, quite a lot of your early years, you, you, you would have been looking to fit in somewhere in life. You would have, even though there's, I know there's that impulse of Aquarians as well, which is very rebellious. I know, You're ruled by Rahu, right? co-ruled by Rahu or whatever it's, it's Rahu Rahu and Aquarius we know um, the rebel so there there is that but believe it or not you're actually quite social as well see this does depend on your Mars as well are you a bit of a rebel see if we if we put Mars here lauded by Tor, um, by Venus, then yeah, you might, you might be a bit more easygoing than for example, if you've got your Mars here or exalted here, if you've got a really strong Mars, then you might be, and I mean, gosh, put Rahu in with either of these and you'll be quite the rebel. So yeah, I can see that. But if you've got Mars lauded by Venus, here then you might be the kind of Aquarius who's looking to fit in with people okay um, that's a bit more of a muted Mars there but I'm going down all kinds of tangents let's not do that <laughs> let's come back to the fire trine and look at your confidence so I think that you could benefit from hands-on creativity Hands-on creativity, hands-on creativity will give you a tremendous sense of confidence if you make something and sell it or if you make something and other people love it. Maybe you make jewelry or pottery or I don't know, maybe you're making something with your hands as a hobby and if people like it, that would give you a, a sense of accomplishment. It would boost your confidence. Something where it's quite hands-on. So a hands-on hobby could be um, something that really helps you to boost your confidence, Aquarius. You can let me know in the comments below what really does boost your confidence. And we're now going to welcome Pisces. Pisces, welcome. We're going to take a look at confidence and we're going to have a look at your third Lord, which is Venus. All right, so where are we going to put Venus? Well, if we put Venus right here in your first house of self, um, You'd gain a huge amount of confidence by doing things. If you've got a really good Venus, like Venus in, in Pisces there, you would gain a huge amount of confidence from yourself, from doing things yourself, from doing things on your own. That could be quite important. So even just that, I love this for you Pisces actually, because this is very simple. It's like self, just, just being a self starter, just being a, I did it on my own. That would give you a lot of confidence. Actually, that could be more so if, you know, that could be more so if Venus is here. Because perhaps if Venus is in your first house, you'd be, 
you might not be looking to do things um, on your own actually you might be a lot more collaborative but so let's say let's put Venus here in Virgo that you do things on your own that would give you a lot of confidence but I mean Venus could be in all sorts of different places I, I haven't got time to go through every single sign but let's take a look at your fire trine and where that is so we've got here fire trine yeah yours was quite interesting I've got here you building a career and creatively serving others By you doing that, that's really going to boost up your confidence. Okay, you creatively serving others. Also, you saving money. And I'm going to say here, creating independent wealth. That is going to be important for your confidence okay um, and another thing I've got here if your unique opinion is requested on art or beauty that will boost your confidence as well I would imagine that and because a lot of Pisceans have creative careers visual careers um, filmmaking careers uh, you're often doing something artistic or something to do with beauty or you know that kind of thing there's a lot of Pisceans who are doing that type of work and so if you're requested to be the art director on a project or just to have your input or you know someone's arranging flowers and, and they say hey Pisces you know come over here and what do you think you know and then you do something you suggest oh just move that one flower and it just takes it to a new level you know it's that kind of thing I feel uh, that Pisces you could where your confidence could just really um, really go high but you can let me know in the comments below when your confidence goes high and what does that and why and you know even we can even explore when when does it go low as well I mean there's so many things to explore it's just about having enough time I just put this together you know just this little thing just just to say hi really and get back in the swing of making videos so thanks so much for being here everyone and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.